My name is Delia Vermont. I had an abortion because I was so lost and scared, and no matter who I went to, I found no one to help me keep my child. The clinic itself provided no help, only grief for me. It was a place of business. The providers did not know me, and no one brought me comfort. It was a very cold, unfeeling place. Immediately before the death of my child, I cried out, I'm so sorry, Jesus. I did not want to abort, but I did it anyway. Immediately after the death of my child, I was sobbing uncontrollably. The nurse told me I needed to stop crying. I was disturbing the others in recovery. I hated myself and my boyfriend and believed I sold my soul to the devil. As time went on, I wanted to die, to take my life too. I was only 21 years old. I was so severely sad and felt God hated me. For precious Jesus saved me from that lie. About two years later, without my asking, our Savior Jesus, he sent me a precious mission of peace and the beautiful message that he wanted me to live in spite of the horrible pain I had given him and my dear child. I have forgiven my boyfriend, who is now my husband of 28 years. It has not been easy for us. The abortion haunts us, as it should. We miss you, Danielle, as do your brothers and sister. My aborted child has a strong and loving voice through her siblings, Ricky, Layla, and Danny. Our children are not ours, not our possession. They are the most precious gift of God himself. God had a place for Danielle here among us, and we miss her. 28 years later, I finally let myself attend my Rachel's Vineyard Retreat. There, I finally accepted the gift of forgiveness that Jesus and our Blessed Mother and my child, Danielle Mary, waited so patiently to give me. In gratitude and praise for true love, that is Jesus. I am silent no more. Amen.